So in today's video, I'll be telling you guys how you can properly trade in Bloxroots. Nowadays, there are a lot of scammers in Bloxroots. They are constantly trying to take really good devil fruits from noobs and then trade them for their own benefit. This actually happens very often because Bloxroots trading is really, really hard to understand. It's never about the prices. It's about the demand and the hype for the devil fruit. And I'll be talking about that later in the video. But if you are going to be watching the video till the end, trust me, you're not going to get scammed or ripped off or you're not even gonna do a bad trade so uh yeah make sure to watch till the end if you guys are here to learn how to trade properly in blocks roots so yeah before we get into the video make sure to hit that like button let's try to get like 30 likes on this video and also if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button to find other videos like these so i think without wasting any more time let's get right into the video so the first thing i have for you guys is that never trade with prices and this will cost you a lot of value a lot of people get ripped off and scammed by this method and what happens is actually for example the devil fruit they have is buddha which is a very high value slash high demanded devil fruit buddha is 1.2 million belly and a lot of people trade it for that kind of value and that is very very bad buddha has really high demand and um, it is actually very high valued they try to offer a guy who has buddha and they offer him like string which is 1.5 million in belly if the other guy accepts he's in big loss because buddha is like actually worth over 3 million in my opinion or close to that so that's why i think a lot of people get scammed and complain after that because they do not actually know what's the demand or the value of the actual devil fruit that they're trading that's why you guys should always not trade with prices a lot of people actually trade with really bad devil fruits which have like a bit of value i've seen lots of people give like dark ice sand or even rubber uh, these devil fruits do not actually have that much of a value and they just trade them for like magma which has good value and they trade them for buddha and all of those so never accept that kind of offer because that's just a loss for you this tip is very very confusing to explain to you guys but once you start trading in blocks routes you guys will understand eventually so the next tip i have for you guys is actually a pretty different one so this tip is based around trading your bigger devil fruits for example devil fruits which have the value of higher than 1.5 million or even 2 million you should never trade your high valued devil fruits like gravity paw or rumble for devil fruits like dark ice sand or all of those middle class ones because even if they overpay you you never get the value back so keep that in mind if you are trading a big devil fruit for some smaller devil fruits try to go for some really good valued ones for example if you are trading like gravity uh you should accept like a buddha for it or for example you should accept like magma door or um tremor and string for it because these devil fruits actually have a bit of value so yeah this was the second tip try not to trade your bigger devil fruits for some smaller devil fruits also boys i'm thinking of making a video going from the devil fruit bomb which has the lowest value in the game and going up to the highest value devil fruit at that time period and it would be mostly like soul or dragon that would be a very interesting video so yeah make sure to tell me down below in the comment section that should i make that video or not anyways let's continue with the video okay the third tip i have for you guys is actually try to go for game passes any trade which revolves around game passes is just a really really beneficial trade for you for example if somebody is trading you the two times drop chance or the fast boats or anything for a really good devil fruit for example like um dragon or control or anything like that make sure to go for it because you can get the devil fruits back really easily because to get the game passes you actually would need to spend real money and lots of people cannot actually do that so if you guys are getting a game pass for your trade make sure to accept that trade but just try not to overpay a lot so yeah make sure to get game passes if you can then the fourth tip we have is actually try to go for the devil fruits which are over 3 million and there is only one exception to this um tip and that is buddha buddha is a really really op undervalued devil fruit buddha is only 1.2 million belly but its value is well over 3 million so if you can get your hands on buddha yes keep it it's a really good devil fruit for trading and other than that i would recommend to go for any devil fruit which is higher than 3 million whether it might be soul or dragon or control or all of those which are above
of 3 million. They are actually very very good if we talk about value or demand. And then the last tip I have for you guys is to always check hype and value of the devil fruit. For example, if you are trading your Buddha, make sure to know its value. Try not to trade it for some lower valued um, devil fruits. Make sure to go for a devil fruit which is higher than 2 million or even higher than 3 million. Try to actually see the value slash hype of your devil fruit that you're trading because that would actually help you a lot in trading. Those are all the tips I have for you guys. If you guys actually work on these tips and uh, apply them to your trading, I think nobody can scam you and take your really good devil fruits for some really bad ones. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that trading in block fruits is very repetitive and also very time taking. So if you guys are impatient and you guys trade, trust me, you're not going to get good trades or even good values when you are trading. So yeah, just keep that in mind that trading in block fruits is not easy and I'm no professional to give you guys the perfect tips that you guys need. I just only gave the tips that I knew that would definitely work with you guys. I have a lot of other tips as well, but they go either way. Sometimes it's a win, sometimes it's a loss. So I just don't want to confuse you guys. So if you guys just basically work on all of these tips that I gave you, you are good to go for trading. So yeah, if you guys like this video or found something helpful, make sure to hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button. Uh, that would be really appreciated. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.